If you've ever placed an order online or done a web search at Google, you'll be familiar with an input object. Let's go ahead here in Autoplay Media Studio Professional Edition and click on the new input object icon. I'm going to press OK and this creates an input object on my stage. As you can see here, it's almost identical to the search field at google.com or any other web search service. So basically, it works the same way. The user would type some information into this input object and we would then be able to retrieve or manipulate that information freely at runtime using our projects or presentations. So let's go ahead and press F5 to demonstrate what I'm talking about. As you can see here, I can freely type text inside this field here. That text can then be manipulated by using actions within our projects and presentations. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and close that down and we'll take a look at the input object properties in the next video tutorial.